Elagon is the fifth encounter of the Mogushan Vault's raid, and the second encounter of the Vault of Mysteries LFR. This fight occurs in three phases, which repeat twice. This is one of the more entertaining encounters in LFR, since throughout the battle, the floor will disappear, leading to the deaths of unwary raid members. There are five targets in this encounter, Elagon with 306 million HP, Celestial Protectors with 8.4 million HP, Energy Charges with 900,000 HP, Imperial Focuses with 3.2 million HP, and Cosmic Sparks with 1 million HP. The LFR Enrage Timer for this encounter is 9 minutes and 30 seconds. The encounter with Elagon takes place in a circular room, with a stone floor in the outer circle, and a transparent floor in the inner circle. The construction of this room and its behavior is of vital importance to the success of this raid. The outer circle ring of the encounter room poses no danger to the raid, and this is where phase 3 will take place. However, the inner circle, present in phase 1 and most of phase 2, disappears between phases 2 and 3, and any raid member standing within the inner ring when it disappears will fall to their deaths. Players standing in the inner ring receive a practical debuff called Touch of the Titans, which increases damage done and healing by 50%. In Phase 1, Elagon uses the following abilities. Celestial Breath. Cast every 20 seconds, this causes a high amount of arcane damage in a cone in front of Elagon. Materialized Protector. Cast every 35 seconds, Elagon summons a Celestial Protector, an add which adheres to the threat table and melee strikes its target. The Celestial Protector casts Arcing Energy, which deals a large amount of arcane damage and applies a debuff called Close Circuit. This debuff reduces healing taken by the target by 25% for 20 seconds and can be dispelled. Stability Flux is cast by the Celestial Protector once it reaches 25% health. This attack causes arcane damage to all raid members. And the Celestial Protector also casts Total Annihilation upon Death, which deals a significant amount of arcane damage to the raid. The Celestial Protector, just like the raid members, is buffed by Touch of the Titans, while located within the Inner Circle. In the event that no raid members are within the boss melee range, Elagon will cast Grasping Energy Tendrils, which pulls all raid members towards him while unleashing over 200,000 arcane damage. Phase 1 ends, and Phase 2 begins when Elagon reaches 85% health. At 85% health, Elagon begins casting Draw Power. Completion of this cast takes 15 seconds, and while the spell is being cast, nothing is occurring. However, once completed, six energy charges spawn around Elagon, and one second later begin moving towards six pillars in the outer perimeter of the inner ring. These charges have no abilities and do not attack, but can and should be killed. If all six energy charges are killed, Elagon begins the process again, but the cast time of draw power and the movement speed of the energy charges are faster. If the raid kills the energy charges before they reach the outer ring once more, Elagon repeats this process faster and will continue to do so until an energy charge reaches the outer ring. Every time Elagon casts draw power, he is afflicted with a stacking debuff that increases his damage taken by 5% of his stack, which persists until the end of the battle. The death of each energy charge results in a small amount of raid-wide damage. Once an energy charge reaches the pillar at the outer perimeter of the ring, Phase 2 ends and Phase 3 begins. In Phase 3, the transparent floor of the inner ring vanishes and any player standing upon it will fall to their deaths. About 20 seconds into this phase, six Imperial Focus adds appear around the perimeter of the ring. These adds have no abilities and do not attack, but must be killed to move the raid to the second rotation of Phase 1. Elagon periodically deals arcane damage to the raid with unstable energy during this time. He also targets the locations of random players with Energy Cascade. This deals a high amount of arcane damage in a 5-yard radius of impact, and spawns a Cosmic Spark, a small add which has no abilities, and unleashes melee attacks on its target according to the threat table. For each Imperial Focus that is defeated, Elagon gains a stack of the overloaded buff, increasing his damage and casting speed. This buff is removed at the end of Phase 3. After the first completion of Phases 1-3, through three, the raid resets to Phase 1 and progresses to Phase 3 a second time, with the primary difference being that the second occurrence of Phase 2 begins at 50% health. 
After the second phase rotation is complete, Elagon will no longer change to different phases in this encounter. He will gain a buff called Radiating Energies. This buff deals periodic arcane damage raid-wide, while Elagon focuses on the tank and casts Celestial Breath. At the end of the second phase rotation, Elagon is debuffed from stacks of drop power and is taking increased damage. This is the optimal time to use Bloodlust, Heroism, and Time Warp. Phase 1 Strategy Since Elagon remains stationary, it cannot be tanked away from the center of the inner ring. The active tank should face Elagon away from the rest of the raid to protect from Celestial Breath. The off tank should pick up Celestial Protectors, where DPS burns them down in the inner ring before killing them in the outer ring. This prevents damage caused by total annihilation from being increased due to the Touch of the Titans buff. This is optional at LFR, since the raid damage is not fatal to high health raid members. And healers should dispel closed circuit from affected players, since this debuff reduces healing taken. For Phase 2 strategy, the raid should try to kill as many waves as energy charge as realistically possible. Three waves, if the raid is functioning well and understands the fight to force the stacking 5% damage increase debuff on Elagon. Beyond three attempts, the draw power cast and energy charge movement speed will be too fast for the raid to respond to, so the raid should focus on Elagon and ignore the charges at this point. AoE energy charges when they first cast and appear around Elagon. And raid members in the inner ring must be prepared to vacate to the outer ring since the floor soon disappears and phase three begins. Phase 3 strategy is very simple. DPS should move around the outer ring, killing the Imperial focuses, starting with the focus closest to them. During this time, the tank and the off tank should be focused on picking up spawning cosmic sparks. These can be killed whenever the tanks wish to do so, since the focus should be on ending this phase by killing the Imperial focuses. The raid should be wary of the impact zone of Energy Cascade and stay outside of this area. After the second phase cycle is complete, the raid can stack on Elagon and burn the boss down to defeat, and the floor will no longer disappear from this point. This is the best time for the raid to utilize Bloodlust, Time Warp, Heroism, as well as Offensive, Defensive, and Healing cooldowns to force a quick end to the encounter. This encounter drops level 476 gear, including the following rogue items. Chest Guard of Total Annihilation, a chest with red and yellow gem slots with critical strike and haste, and Bottle of Infinite Stars, a Mastery Trinket. In 10 and 25 men normal and heroic, this raid may also drop Reigns of the Astral Cloud Serpent, which does not drop in LFR. Hey everyone, this is Whitey, and in this video we are going to kill Elagon. Elagon is a very entertaining fight because the floor we're about to be standing on disappears twice during the encounter, and if any unwary players are standing on it, they will plunge to their deaths and be cut out for the remainder of the fight. This uh, encounter with Elagon, it does lag people quite a bit. It's one persistent complaint you will hear in LFR. Uh, I may pick up some lag in this video. I've tried to keep the frame rate as high as possible. I've reconfigured a couple of my add-ons and I've reduced some of my video settings. So I've got my shadows and sun shafts set on low and then everything else is set on high. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, the battle's about to begin, so enjoy the video. Okay, the Celestial Protector is out and I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds uh, for my shadow blades to burn off before I jump onto the protector. And the reason why is this is the second time we've done this encounter in this particular raid. Uh, the first time around, the off tank didn't pick up the ad, so all the DPS that went and jumped on it ended up getting killed, and we couldn't beat the berserk timer. So the off tank has picked up this ad, I'm gonna try to get on him and kill him. The Celestial Protector is dying, so he's beginning to cast Total Annihilation. This is going to cause damage to the entire raid. I'm going to go ahead and jump back on the boss.
Here comes the first drop power, so we're going to jump on these one of these six orbs that appears. If we can kill them all before they make it to this pedestal at the end, uh, the boss will get a debuff that causes him to take 5% more damage for the remainder of the fight, but it doesn't look like we're going to get him. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on the MP Real Focus and start killing that because the floor is about to despawn. floor is despawned and one person died, so overall that's not too bad. Go ahead and kill this focus and move on to the next one. Focuses are dead, so we're going to kill these adds until the floor respawns, and then we're going to get back on the boss. Okay, and once again, we're going to make sure the five tank picks up the ad, and then we'll jump on it. comes total annihilation. We're going to finish this guy off and get back on the boss. comes another total annihilation, and then we're going to move back to the boss. comes a second drop power, so we're going to jump on an orb. Now we're going to jump on another orb. No one was on that orb, so we're going to go ahead and move to the focus, and then the floor will despawn here in a few seconds. And no one died that time. That's sad. Ooh, those focuses are still up over there. I have no idea how I missed that. Rate awareness. That's what I do. Alright, we're going to go after the adds until the floor respawns. This cycle, 
with the celestial protectors and the orbs and the disappearing floor. This happens twice. So now that both cycles are over, from this point forward, it's just a matter of burning down the boss. And there you go. This is Elegon for LFR. It's not too bad as long as you pay attention. And it is kind of fun to watch people fall, for, fall through the floor to their deaths. Uh, let's see what we have here. I don't need that. So we're going to proceed onto the Will of the Emperor. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.